Hello everyone, Reza here. Are you looking to learn about Microsoft Copilot Studio to build your own custom Copilot experience and leverage the new generative AI capabilities to empower your Copilot? Then this video has you covered. Let's go. We are in the era of Copilots where AI is a real-time collaborator in the Microsoft Power Platform stack, now we have Copilot Studio for Copilot creation. Microsoft Copilot Studio is the ability for you to build your Copilot your way. Leverage generative AI, natural language to build your chatbot experience, dynamically complete tasks, and a lot more. This includes an overview of Copilot Studio, the various capabilities that it has to offer, from customization to easily building a conversational bot experience, easy design, and completely secure platform with governance and control. It has information about pricing, documentation, and support references. So to get started, one of the easiest options is to simply go ahead and try a demo. Here, we can simply point our bot to a website and it will leverage generative AI to have rich multi-turn conversations using information from the site. So let's try this out. Let's leverage the learn documentation that's available for Copilot Studio as a reference. I'll simply point to this website, click start chat, set the terms, and the Copilot is ready. Let's chat and ask questions. What is Microsoft Copilot Studio? And here is the response. It also has the reference to the web page from where it found that specific information. Can I publish the bot to Microsoft Teams? Here's the response. Yes, you can publish. And here is the reference that once again points to the website that I had targeted. Let's try and sign in to leverage the full Microsoft Copilot Studio experience. This leads me to copilotstudio.microsoft.com and this is where I can start creating my copilot. I can give my copilot a name. I can pick the language. Here is the ability for me to boost the conversations. The website, I will select Microsoft Power Apps documentation on learn and click create. And the process for setting up the copilot begins. Straight out lands me into the copilot studio experience. Here I have the ability to test my copilot, set up generative AI, create custom topics, create plugins, or extend a Microsoft copilot. Let's start with generative AI. When I created this copilot, I pointed to a public website. Here, I can add up to four public facing websites plus four internal websites, SharePoint sites as an example. Let's also point to the Power Automate documentation. I can also pick content moderation, high meaning Copilot generates fewer answers, but responses are more relevant. Medium, more answers, but responses may be less relevant. And low will generate the most answers, but responses can have inaccuracies. I'll leave it as high. Another option related to generative AI is the ability to upload a document. The information in the document will be leveraged to power real-time responses to your users. 
the document will be stored securely in Dataverse. And bear in mind, all the users who have access to run the Copilot will have access to the document. You can simply go and upload a document. Here I have a simple Word document that has links and references to learning content. I'll go ahead and upload this document. The document is now uploaded to Dataverse. And within a few moments, the information from this document will be leveraged by the Copilot to provide responses. Once I'm done setting up the generative AI part, I'll click Save. My changes are saved. Let's go ahead and test the Copilot. I will recommend to enable track between topics so we can see live which topics are being called as I chat with the Copilot. I said, hi, Copilot responds with hello. How can I help you today? How to build responsive Canvas apps. And the Copilot responds with the steps on building a responsive Canvas app. It also provides a reference for me. That's the reference to the documentation on building responsive Canvas apps. The trigger for generative answers here is an unknown intent. Since the user input does not match any trigger of any topic, it lands in the unknown intent trigger. And here we have the create generative answers section, which is connected to those public websites that I had set in the generative AI tab. So on very similar lines, I have a copilot that points to public websites and can also point to internal sites. For example, here it's pointing to my internal SharePoint site called Power Platform Hub. When pointing to internal sites, users would need to authenticate to the bot. Under settings, under security, we have the option to set the authentication. So let's test my bot. I'll hit refresh. So it starts the conversation. The system topic that gets called to begin with is conversation start. Here I have given a message. Since I have the user authenticated, I can print out the user's first name as an example. So hello, Raza. One of the variables here is the name of the bot. My bot is called Power Platform Learning. I can also add links. I can also include a video message. So for the send a message action, we can write a rich text message, show an image, a video, even take advantage of adaptive cards. So in my scenario, the bot posts a link. If I select this, it takes me to the Power Platform documentation and there is a Get Started with Power Apps video reference. The video will play in line. These days, many of us are learning new ways. My message, automation success story. The bot leverages generative answers. I've asked her to share information about hackathons. The references that it is provided here is related to information coming from my internal site. Next, I asked her to provide resources for pro developers and fusion teams. And you can see how it's giving me responses by leveraging information from all those connected data sources. And each of these references are marked by numbers. I can see those references right here. These ones are actually coming from the document that I uploaded. We can also create our own custom topics. And those topics as well, I can either create from scratch or I can simply describe. And Copilot will help frame that experience for me. So create a topic to let user create a request for training. I'll click Create. And Copilot weaves its magic to create the topic. The topic gets triggered for the following phrases. I'm free to add additional phrases here. 
Then it's going to ask the user which type of training you need, what are your training details, and then it will thank the user for providing that information. Of course, you can customize this to your needs. You can ask your own questions. Once you capture the responses, you can also call an action to log that response. You can call Power Automate. You can directly leverage connectors or you can take advantage of plugin actions. Once my topic is set, I can click save. I said I have a training request. It mapped it to the topic request for training. So the first question is what type of training are you looking for? I'll say Power Apps. The next question, provide more details about the training. I'll say app in a day. And for now, the bot just responds with a message. Thank you for the training request. I have a custom topic that I have created called latest video where I have added a few phrases. This goes and calls a flow. The flow gets triggered, goes and grabs information from an RSS feed that points to my YouTube channel, goes and fetches the latest video and returns the information in different parameters back to the copilot. The copilot reads all that information and then I go ahead and display a message to the user. This one includes a video reference as well. The video points to that output parameter. So let's try this. I've said YouTube video, Copilot calls the flow. Once again, the video, Reza here, I can play this in line. We can also take advantage of powerful analytics that Copilot provides leverages Power BI to provide all this information. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and publish your Copilot. In the settings, we have the details of the Copilot. That's the name of the bot. You can change the icon. You can take advantage of AI integration tools and you can publish your Copilot to a variety of channels. You can publish it to Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft Teams, demo website, and a lot more. And Copilots will simply list out all the Copilots that you have created in the specific environment. One of the neat options I like once you build your Copilot is you can simply say, go to demo website. And here I can try my Copilot live in action. It requires the user to authenticate first because I am pointing to internal resources, SharePoint as an example. I have leveraged the token sign-in experience. Single sign-on option is also available. And here my copilot springs into action. And the copilot provides the response. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.